I want to show you another way of how you could display your WordPress menu or some of your navigation or other items when you get to the mobile. At the moment you click it, you have a toggle and your items appear. But what if you wanted to have a pane slide in from the left or right or just appear on the screen that contain more than just your WordPress menu? It's very easy to do using the off canvas widget. You could build this inside of the header template or go to any page where you've got the header displayed and then click it to go into it. Now inside of it, I'm going to add in the off canvas widget. So go over to your widget and type in off and it will be there. I'm just going to click it. And as soon as you do that, this pane appears. Now don't worry too much about this. Let's just go and sort out where it currently sits in our header. I'm going to untick editing mode so that I can now see my entire header and then I will bring back the structure and we can see that we've got logo, WordPress menu, button and then we have this off canvas widget and again it's displayed itself, don't worry about that. If we expand it, it's actually like a holder or a container for another container. We will set it to be a column and I'm going to add in some padding of 20 all the way around. I'm just going to zero out the gaps for the column and row as well. Let's now click the off canvas. So if you don't want to see it, just click off the editing mode, but I do want to see it. So I've brought it back. You could decide if it's going to be positioned on the left, the right or the center. You could also decide if it was going to be in the top, middle or bottom. Now you're not going to see any changes unless you go and add a particular height. So when I add 50 VH, you can now see where it currently sits. You could even make it appear in the middle of the screen. So it is quite versatile in what it can do. But now I'm just going to change this to be 100 VH. I'll then go to my settings and I can decide on what happens when you click or activate it. By the way, this is not going to be activated the way you think. We will be adding in an icon to ensure that it summons this particular off canvas. I'm going to go to entrance and I'm going to say slide in left. And for the exit, I'm going to say slide out left again. And I'm going to set the duration for this to be 0.4. Now, when this is open and you're viewing it on a live page, you can click on the overlay and it will actually disappear. I'm going to leave that on. I'm also going to allow them to exit it by hitting the escape button. If you toggle these on, it will prevent it. So please pay attention to the wording you have here. I will, however, disable page scrolling. I think it can be a little bit off putting if someone starts to slide down and then they notice the page behind is also sliding. Now let's go to the style tab. This is where you could set a background color. Now you could do this here or you could just do it within the container. I'm going to go for the container. The only thing I will touch here though is the background overlay. So do I want to make it be darker as in full black or I could make it more transparent. I think this shade is perfectly fine. Of course, you could add in a background image as well to the overlay, or you could add in a gradient. But I'm just going to go with a single color. And if you don't want to have a gradient or an overlay, just don't show it. But to make it easier to see the off canvas menu that will slide in, we're going to leave the overlay. Let's now go to our container. I'm going to set my background style to be my soft gray. I'm going to go to my layout and I'm going to set the minimum height of this to be one. Now inside of here, I'm going to reuse a lot of the items that I already have in my header. So I'm going to click on my icon logo. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it inside. I'm going to take my WordPress menu and I'm going to paste that as well. It's gone to the bottom at the moment, but don't worry, we will adjust that. I'm also going to take my button and I'm going to paste that in as well. So inside of our container, we have the icon, the button and the WordPress menu. Now, what I want to do is actually reuse some of the items I already have on my page as well. So I'm going to hit publish for a moment, click on the off canvas menu, and I'm going to say go back to editing mode. I'm then going to scroll down until I get to my footer. I'm now going to go into my footer and I'm going to pick up this bit of text. I will then go back into my header. It might feel a little bit like back and forth, but it's really easy to do. I don't have to click on the off canvas. I'm just going to click into the container for now and hit paste. There's my text editor. I'm then going to click edit page. I'm going to copy my social icons, go back to my header, click on container and hit paste. Again, go back to edit page and I will copy these icons. Now I could add in a miniature version of the form as well and you'll see what I'm doing in a moment, but I feel like I'm already adding in plenty of items. So let's just copy over this icon list, go back to our header, go back to our container and just paste. So there we have various items. 
Now let's click on our off canvas and ensure it is on editing mode. And you can see now this looks very, very messy. The reason we have these large gaps is because of the size of some of our widgets that we've reused. And if I click on the logo, we've got this big gap. And that's because earlier in previous videos, we had set it to grow. So I'm going to untick that. And this bit of text over here also has the grow because we used it in the footer to push the icons down. I'm also going to remove that. I'm going to set the style of my text to be text color. I don't actually want this to be visible on the desktop or the tablet. This will only kick in on the mobile. So I'm going to ensure that we don't actually see this. And we will do that when we get onto how we activate this particular off canvas to show. So let's just view this in mobile because if we're going to rearrange it and this is where we're going to see it, we want it to look good there. Let's first go to our WordPress menu and I'm going to change the mobile drop down or the breakpoint to be none. I will then set this to be vertical. I will also align it to the left. I will then go to my style and I will set the space between to be 20. I will then go to my button, pick it up and move it below the menu. I will then go to my text editor, which is currently using the extra small class. I will change that to be normal. I'm also going to change the weighting of this to be normal as well. Now let's add in a bit of spacing. Let's go to our container and we currently have zero for the rows and gaps. I've added in 30 for the row. I want to push all of these items to the bottom. So I'm going to click on the item before the ones that you want to push down, which is the button. Go to the advanced tab and I'm now going to click grow. Can you see how it's created this extra gap and it's pushed this further details with the text and the icons and the links further down the page? So this is how it's going to look. Now you could argue there is so much more that you could actually add into it. So why don't we go and do that? Let's go back to our button and get rid of the grow. I'm then going to hit the plus sign and I'm going to drop in a image. Let's set that to be a full resolution. That's looking pretty good. And we're going to add a border radius of 15. Due to the size of the image, it has actually pushed some of the contact details to go further down. So I'm going to go back to my container and I'm going to change my gap to be 20 instead. And on further reflection, I'm going to pop the button to be below the image. You could add whatever you want here. You could even have it as a row. You could wrap items. You can make the mobile side of your website more interesting than just having a standard toggle with a drop down. But what if some users don't realize that you click on the overlay? Or what if you've actually got a screen like this? How can they exit it? We've enabled a setting where they could hit escape. But again, how many end users would know that? So here's one little tip. Inside of the container, add in an icon that has now gone to the bottom. I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to move it to the top. Click into the icon and type in plus. I will then go to the style tab and I'm going to right align it. I'm going to set the size of it to be 20 and I'm going to rotate it by 45. Can you see it's gone from a plus to a cross? And of course, go and set the color that you want it to appear. It's created this extra bit of space, which has pushed everything down. There are various ways you can get around this. You could click on the advanced tab for the icon where it says position, go and set it to be absolute. And when you do that, it allows it to overlap other items within that container, but it has gone to the far left. So I could go here to where we have this new set of settings that have appeared and I could set the horizontal orientation to be to the right. Can you see it there? I could even set it to be at the bottom and it's now gone there. Let's leave it at the top, but I'm going to offset this. So I'm going to say 20 pixels from the right. And I'm going to say 20 pixels from the top. So now we have an X, which is almost level with the logo. That's looking pretty good. This X or plus sign won't do anything yet because we haven't set any dynamic link. It is very, very simple to do. Click on the dynamic tag, scroll down until you get to off canvas. Click that. Then click the spanner or the wrench. And the action we want to set is close off canvas. Then we have the option to select which off canvas we want to close. Well, we only have this one at the moment to so go and select off canvas two. That will now close this off canvas. So that is what will appear on the mobile, but it is still present for the desktop as well. And don't worry about the size there. We're going to sort all of this out. Let's click on the off canvas and I'm going to say undo the editing mode. Now let's go back into our mobile. Don't worry about the fact that we have this off canvas widget that is grayed out over here because that is invisible to the naked eye. But we do have this toggle still appearing, the WordPress menu. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in an icon into my header container. Let's click that. I'm just going to move it to sit between the logo and the current WordPress menu. Let's change this to be a symbol similar to the toggle. So we're going to click here and I've typed in bar and I'm going to select the bars. Let's go and hit insert. I will then go to style. I will set my color to be my text color. And I'm going to set my size to be 20 pixel. It is currently elevated a little bit. So I'm going to go to my advanced tab. I'm going to zero out my margin and padding. And I'm going to add in some negative bottom margin like that. Then ensure you're still on the icon. And we are now going to add in a link similar to the X that we added in the off canvas. We're going to click the dynamic tag, scroll down to off canvas, then click the spanner or the wrench. And before we clicked close off canvas, this time we're going to have open off canvas and we're going to ensure that we have selected off canvas number two. So now we have two navigation bars, but we need to get rid of the second one and ensure that does not display on the mobile. Let's click on our WordPress menu, go to the advanced tab and go to where we have responsive. And we are going to say hide on mobile. I'm happy for it to still be there as in the full menu for the desktop or the tablet, but I don't want it there for the mobile. But just like we've done this for the mobile view, we now need to go back to the desktop and you can now see that we have this new icon that has appeared. So we now need to ensure that this does not appear on the desktop and the tablet. It's the same process. Go to the advanced tab, go down to responsive and we are going to say hide on desktop and the tablet. So this is our desktop view and we have our standard WordPress menu. When you get to the mobile, we have the navigation bar. So we don't see the navigation bar on the desktop. And in the mobile, we don't see the normal WordPress menu because you may look at this and think, well, it's the same, isn't it? Previously, when you click this, you got a drop down with your navigation menu. But now I click it. I have my off canvas widget slide in. We don't have any overlay because I've currently set it to be 100%. We have our nav bar items, we have our button, bit of text, and we have our icons and you could email or contact them. And we have a icon over here. You click that and it now closes down and takes us back to our page. And if I click this and I try to scroll up and down, not much is going to happen because this is set to 100 VH. And if I hit X, I'm still at the top of my website because we prevented it from scrolling. However, depending on what you build, you may want to enable that. That's a pretty neat way of adding in some further variety, really quick and easy, rather than relying on the standard toggle WordPress menu for your mobile. And by the way, there is nothing wrong with that. But if you want a little bit more pizzazz and you want to show a little bit more, I hope you agree that the off canvas widget is quite versatile to use.